What's up, trade hackers? Welcome to today's day trading update, Thursday, September 17th. Glorious day in the markets today. Uh, booked a profit of $2,517. So awesome morning. It's uh, 11.54 a.m., so not even noon yet, and I am done. Uh, Facebook, 1265. MU took a loss of 470. Winner in Netflix of 1580. Roku, 491. Little loser in Target and a little loser in Tesla. So let's break down what happened. So for those of you who were in the live room, you know. Uh, let's start with um, let's start with Target. We kind of left the left the day and said, okay, the markets are actually pretty strong in the morning, uh, relative meaning the, they were down overall for the day, but they were just they they the price action was really strong, and so you know, started to make me doubt if we were going to get the sell off that eventually did happen. And so I did, I did jump in, I had some shorts on, but I jumped in right before the end of the live stream. And I put on a long runner in target because it pushed up was looking strong. And so I said, Okay, if we're going to go higher, I want to get long, either target or Walmart, because they were two of the strongest stocks on the day. So I chose target, chopped around for a while. And then when it pushed down here, I just I bailed. That's when the market started to fall apart. And so took a little loss on that one. Uh, on Tesla, so this was, I think Tesla was my first trade of the day. No, uh, no, it was, it was, uh, it was MU. MU was my first trade of the day. Let's go to MU first. So MU, uh, had a, a, a nice little mighty 90 setup, big push, and then, um, had the volume, but then it just kind of chopped around. And when it, it, when it got up here and started chopping around, this is when I bailed. And so I went ahead and just took a loss on MU. Uh, the other one that I started out with as a mighty 90 uh, was Tesla. So we had a big push higher. And I was, I definitely had a bias going into the day. So I was looking for short opportunities. Had a big push up in Tesla. And then it just kind of started chopping around. And then it pushed higher. Uh, and then and then it just started chopping around again. And when it kind of pushed higher again in the, in, the, in the broad market and all the stocks were really starting to get strong, I was it's like, you know what? I'm going to bail. <clears throat> uh, it's just the you know the price action is just too strong. I can always get back in, and in fact, that's exactly what I did. And so, um, so I took a loss on that piece, but then I got back in. Uh, actually, it was down here, so I just took it off. Uh, we chopped around for a little bit, looking for a little bit of a continuation runner to the downside, and so I caught this little piece here. Uh, so you can see kind of the two broken uh, broken down. I. So two little losses here and then a little winner there. So net net still a $125 loser in Tesla. And then uh and so those are my losers. Let's talk about the winners starting with Roku. So similar thing in Roku, I um you know it was below the low of the day. It could not break through and and get to any new highs. So I was looking at I was hawking it for a for a uh, for a downside runner. When we came down here, started consolidating is when I started putting a little bit on, and then again it got kind of strong, and so I I, I got shook out uh, as it was as it was kind of pushing up here. I thought it was potentially going to go higher. I mean, if you look at the Nasdaq at this point, uh, and the rest of the indices, I mean, they were just pushing, pushing, pushing higher, and so again, same thing. I was like, you know what? I still think we're going to get this sell off, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get back in. Uh, after it after it's get a little bit more confirmation. So when it pushed down here, started chopping around, I got short and rode this thing all the way down. Actually, I, I got out of some here, added back in, and then rode it down again. So nice $490 winner in Roku. Netflix was my biggest winner at 1580. I was talking about this all morning in the in the live room as well. It was just weak. I mean, it, you know, some of these other stocks when the Nasdaq was pushing higher, you know, some of these other stocks were pushing higher. Not Netflix. It was just chopping around. Could not could not break any new highs at all. So when it, uh, I think I got on this right after, not too long after the live stream. So probably right right around in here, ten fifteen area where it started chopping around here, and the market started to get weak. And I rode this thing all the way down to this pivot level. So. Really nice trade there. And then same thing in Facebook. You know, this was just staying weak all morning, all morning, all morning. And I actually entered this um, in the live stream room before we exited. 
So I got, I started getting in right here and then I added a little bit more right here. And then I just rode, I took my last piece off right down here, pretty close to where we're at right now. So I am out of everything booked again, 2,517 on the day. Uh, good stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's nice when your idea plays out. Uh, but again, we always, we always talk about this in the live stream room is, you know, coming in with a bias, coming in with a, an, a trade idea is great, but you also have to let price action lead. And when price action started getting uh, too strong, I had to, I had to reduce risk. I had to cut, cut some losses. Uh, but again, you can always get back in and that's exactly what we did. And it paid off nicely. I would say maybe the one, if I'm looking at one thing that I, in hindsight, that, I've could, that I could have done better is I talk about following price action. Well, there was, there was several opportunities to get long um, in, during this rally. There were several opportunities. Uh, the price action was pushing and pausing, pushing and pausing, just giving us really, really good indications of, of higher prices in the short term. Uh, and I just, I was a little bit stubborn with my, with my bias because I just, you know, the, the market was weak and I just, I just, I just felt like I was very confident we we're going to have this sell off, uh, but I did get chopped up a little bit in the upside, but it still paid off for me on the, uh, on the downside run. So good day overall. Hope everybody else had a great day. Feel free to post your, uh, profits in the Facebook group as well. Love hearing how you guys are doing. Uh, have a great day and we will catch you tomorrow.